Hi, I'm Rachel Yatuzis, and I'm going to show you how to clean up after a grease fire. The first thing you want to do is, of course, open the windows. You want to try to get the smell out. And, you know, a good way to prevent grease fires is watch your food when you're cooking it. A lot of time, grease fires happen on the stove. Grease fires are the ones that you want to cover up and smother them. You don't dump water on them because that's going to make the flame shoot up and spread. So, stoves like this, a lot of times, will open up just like a car hood. You want to take some paper towels and wipe all of the loose debris off. Once you have removed all of the loose debris, you want to clean with vinegar and water. You can use spick and span or something, you know, with a more lemony or pine smell if you want. I think that vinegar and water is the best thing to get rid of any kind of smell because vinegar is excellent at absorbing odors. It doesn't just cover them up. It really absorbs them. So use a soft cloth or a soft paper towel to clean with that vinegar and water. If you need to let the vinegar sit even overnight and let it work, that's perfectly fine too for some more tough spots. If there are spots that you need to scrub, make a mixture of cornstarch and water. This is an excellent abrasive and this is going to help you for the next step which is removing the uh, soot and the you know the ugly black stuff off of painted surfaces. So this is a little bit abrasive but not too abrasive. It's totally safe for painted surfaces and this is what you're going to use for your walls. You might want to let it sit for a minute before you wipe it clean. For your wood, like this top right here, this, this butcher block, you want to spray it with vinegar and water. I would say use half and half for this because you're going to let it sit and you're going to let it dry and it's really going to absorb that smell and you want to use a soft cloth to buff it afterwards. You always want to remember to condition your wood after you've done this to restore the moisture. And if there's still a smell left in your kitchen, just set a bowl of vinegar on the stove and let it sit there for a day or two. The smell will be gone. I'm Rachel Yatuzis and that is how you clean up after a grease fire.